Here with James Quick, and we're doing a, a little bit of an interview here. He's uh, out there on his phone, tracking around in the woods. How you doing, Jim? Doing pretty good. How about yourself, Paul? I'm doing a hundred percent. You said, tell me a while ago, you mushroom hunting? Yeah, I've been out. Uh, I came down to this spot, which is down by a Tebow Land or a Tightwad Landing, which is on the. Uh, the uh, Grand River, the, the upper part of the Truman Lake. Uh, I just live about a mile from here. This spot here, my family has been coming to this spot mushroom hunting for probably 50 years. Yeah. I thought it was a little too early, but you never know, I guess. Yeah, well, they've been, I've been seeing on the, uh, on the uh, mushroom sites, um, they've been finding them down in southern Missouri. Have, it's, it's been slowly creeping up this way, and I thought, you know, I was off today from work, so I thought I'd come out here and give it a try, just in case. Any any opportunity to get out in the woods. There you go. That's what it's about. But, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what other stuff do you do, Jim? I, I haven't really talked to you a whole lot. I know you do some fishing and, and not, but what else that's, you do? That's pretty much my main addiction is fishing. That's, uh... uh I'm on too, but we, uh, got... Uh, since that was we're doing anything outdoors now because there's just so much to talk about and oh yeah do so much thing like uh geocaching and, and uh, i've never got i've uh the only geocaching i've done was when the uh our son was in uh, cub scouts they was doing some of that so we had to go out and help him with that a little bit um <sighs> uh mainly it's it's for us it's just been uh uh it's mushrooms and fishing uh gardening um, the, the deer horn mushroom down there too uh on occasion they're they're pretty rare down here and we get them up here probably i could probably find those about twice as quick as the can morels they're, they're quite oh, yeah. around here but... yeah morels is our that's yeah, our staple down here arrow, uh, arrowhead hunting one of the two yeah, I used to do that a lot when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, I don't do I don't I don't really do any hunting anymore. I got I, growing up, I have a uh, a brother that's uh, twelve years younger than me, and uh, growing up, our dad took us out, did everything, fishing and hunting, and all that stuff. And it was funny, but as we grew up, I took to the fishing, whereas he took to the hunting. Mm -hmm. still, you know, we both still do, you know, each, you know, I mean, I, I go out on occasion, especially when I take the boy out turkey hunting or deer hunting. Um, I don't, I just don't really do it as much. I, my passion's getting out there and hooking into a big old fat blue cat or something. But, uh, my brother, he lives up in Montana now. He's retired air force and that's his passion up there is hunting. He goes, hunts the antelope and the deer and, and, uh, the big muleys and the bear and everything else. So. That's that's pretty much been my life though is is sitting on the water and watching the tip of that rod. Yeah, you know, we tried that uh Friday, man. It was just too damn cold or or <laughs> a cold cold snap came on too quick or something because uh we didn't even get a nibble, not even you know, usually you'll catch three or four bullhead if you don't catch a channel, but we got absolutely no bites whatsoever. Huh. They've been they've been catching them slowly down here. The uh, uh, crappie bite right now we're sitting at uh, I think uh, seven oh seven on the uh, on the uh, the, um, the level, which is about seven feet below normal. That's below. Um, but the last day or so, I guess the crappie bites really come on good. The walleye they're they're working them. They've been hitting on uh, uh, white power grubs. And uh, the blue cats, they've been hit and miss. But right now, you know, snagging season started up. So right now you go out there and you look at all, at all the boats and everything, and, and that's what everybody's after is a spoonbill. There just ain't enough ain't enough room out there right now for a cat fisherman getting away. Now, we used to go down at the bottom of the spillway there, Mingle Wildlife Refuge, and 
snagged them big old buffalo. Yep. And uh, my grandma would can them up and and oh, yeah. like, mackerel like uh, mackerel patties out of them or or whatever. I mean, it was good. Yep, that's my my grandma and my mom did, did both the same. Buffalo with carp and all that stuff. Yeah, a lot, yeah. Of, a lot of people don't don't eat them. Think it's a, a pain to mess with. It don't take but an extra couple minutes. Yeah, and I mean you you Crazy can't tell stuff. the difference between you can't tell the difference between those and a salmon patty. Right. And I can remember growing up. That was there was a, there was sometimes during the winter. That was about it. Right. Didn't and I have then, a, didn't a, I set you up for a writer's uh, deal on Team Fat Boys? Yes, I wrote a few stories. I just haven't. I, I've been so busy learning this new job that I that I started right. up back in December. You can hit up on the mushroom conversations and. Uh, uh, you know, the, the fishing reports and stuff down there, too. You don't have to just write stories. You know, just, right. Yeah, you know, to find the mushrooms, you know, show show the mushrooms and tell them what you're finding. You don't have to tell, tell them your secret spot. But <laughs> every, everybody that I set up still got access to write on, you know. Okay. Feel, feel yeah. free to, to, you know, put something down, whether you're, Mushroom hunting, fishing, or hunting. Just write it on down and, and post it. Yep, I can I can definitely get back on that. I'll probably start uh, sharing the fishing reports that we have down here that the uh, yeah, we got. WordPress, WordPress set up on my phone so I can write it, write my articles right there out on the uh, from my smoke smartphone. Just download the WordPress app. Oh, I'll have to do that. And then. I make a lot of easier. Information stuff. You can still write articles, take pictures, and and post articles while you're out there. That'll definitely make that a lot easier. I have to try that. That's that's what I do. You know, sometimes I'll sit out on the bank and I'll write four, five, six days worth of articles, and I'll, I'll schedule them to to post one a day, and a certain time of the day, and. And uh, so some people think I'm on all the time, which I'm, you know, I'm not. I just, you know, schedule enough of them that, that I can take a break. Or if I know I'm going to be fishing for a couple of days or camped out for a couple of days and can't get to it, I I just set up a couple of them to, to post while I, I know I'm not going to be able to physically do it. So. Yep, that's a that's a good idea. I mean, if you have a problem, let me know and I'll set it up. But, but I'll just, definitely get back. I'll get back on that. We've got uh, three guide services around here that uh, submit uh, um, uh, fishing reports and stuff like that. So I'll start checking them on a regular basis and uh, putting them up on there. So right. anyone that anyone that thinks about coming down to Truman Lake or follows your follows your uh, uh, team, Fat Boys from Truman Lake. I thought about it. I know Lyle's down there somewhere now. Uh, he's over Lake of the Ozarks. Yeah. Come here, Bailey. Bailey, come here. Buffalo or something like that. Oh, is he down in Buffalo? Buffalo, Missouri. Oh, okay. I, I, that's yeah. where my mom lives. I go through there all the time at work. Yeah, he moved from northern Missouri down there. A little bit lower, I think he told me. I, I know. Thought, uh, I thought he was down there by... Uh, Jackson or Jefferson City, and he said no. Somewhere else, I can't remember. But. Yeah, last last I heard, he uh, he does most of his fishing over at uh, Lake of the Ozarks, over by uh, Bagnell Dam, Osage Beach, and all that. Yeah, I can't remember. I, I may have the, the town wrong too. But. Well, Buffalo's near uh, near uh, Bennett Springs. Yeah. How, so how's the weather down there? What what's the temperature? It, I think it's like around sixty four, somewhere around there. It's beautiful out here right now. Yeah, I'm in my short short sleeves. Uh, the wind's blowing a little bit, but it's not enough yeah. to really make it chill or anything. I would say you can see I'm I'm in my short sleeves and yeah, it's just it's just absolutely beautiful out here. I'm supposed to be homesick right now, but. I'd rather be out in the woods healing up than sitting at home healing up. Yeah, end, up end up catching strep throat for my son. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Right. That stuff had me, it had me drained yesterday. But luckily with my job, I've got a I've got a pretty easy pretty easy on my job if I don't, you know, cuz I don't get paid by the hour, so mm-hmm. I'm a uh marketing consultant for uh uh your country 99 radio station out of Bolivar. Okay. We have a uh we do have a fishing show Monday through Friday at uh, 605 that's called Tight Lines with Sammy Lee. If you want to go to your uh is that can you listen to that online too or Yes, yes, we do have live streaming. Yeah, why don't you send that to me in a, a text or something? I'll check that out. I can do that. Uh, I can do that. My memory is about as long as well, we won't go there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're going to uh, uh we're gonna set up here in a couple weeks when it gets a little warmer, we're gonna run out on a Friday and uh uh, come back on a Sunday evening, and we're going to uh, uh, take out a little bit of bait and a uh, uh, a backpack, and everything we're, we got is going to be in that, that backpack. What we eat, it depends what we catch. Um, if we end up having to eat grubs, we'll end up eating grubs. We're going we're gonna to rough it. We're at two days only. I'm taking something to start a fire with and some fishing lines, some hooks, and uh, I'm not even going to take my fishing poles. I'm just going to put poles in the in the bank and could you hook you up some old limb lines? We're going to rough it. Get there you go. Gonna, I haven't done that, and I haven't done that in years. Prove I can do it and see if I can. You know, I used to be able to choke down in grubs, but. <laughs> that was when I was quite a bit younger. Yeah. Roasted yeah, I can, crispy. I, I can remember when I was in the army when I was going through uh we went through a, a survival training course and uh the very first day we're sitting there and the instructors had this table set up and they had three bowls sitting there. And they started talking about when you're in a survival situation, the things that you look for that you gotta eat. They popped the lids off. One of them was full of uh, um, uh, grubs. One was full of earthworms. And the other one was full of, um, what was that? Uh, some kind of moss. I can't even remember what it was now. Some kind of edible moss. And uh, every one of us had to walk up there, and we had to take one out of each bowl, and we had to sit there and eat them things. You know, and, the... Uh... If you see that one picture of me on my my Google Plus, I got a worm, yeah. worm in my mouth. I ate, I, I ate that worm. Did you? Because I got told I didn't have the balls. But well, ironically, the uh, the name of my favorite book when I was a kid was How to Eat Fried Worms. We uh, got a little bit of oil one time. We caught some little bitty old menace uh, out in the pond and. I had started a little bitty fire, and we had them in a, in like a lid with a little bit of oil in it, and uh, we cooked up them little minnows, and I ate them, and I got ready to do another batch with a couple snails, and my sister uh, got the wrong container and poured gas on it instead of, oh, oh yeah, I blew up in my face. I've sensed the hair on my eyebrows, and had longer hair, and I cinched my hair up, and, yeah, but I, I bet everything was uh was cooked then. I had to admit to the old man what I was doing. <laughs> now I got a pretty iron stomach. It it takes takes a lot of grocery. You know, when I worked uh, Stewart's Egg Farm down there in Puxico, Missouri, I was down there in the boot hill, and uh, we'd take eggs. Worked at this chicken farm. We'd, we'd take the eggs and we'd crack it open and we'd pinch that yolk. And just pick it up and then drop it straight down our throats and swallow it and stuff like that. And it just, we'd get to see who, how many that you could do. And I was always able to do three or four. Oh, I, I, used, to, I used to eat a lot of raw eggs. Um, you know, back when, when I was younger and thinking I was going to be a muscle man. So I swallowed, you know, blended eggs and everything else you could think that- of. 
That's what, yeah, back in the day, I was, I was a power lifter, and I ate a whole lot of eggs. Mm. It was a lot cheaper than the protein powder. Max, was there anything that, that uh, your other things that you're interested in, and uh, besides sitting on the couch watching TV or snuggling up with a wife and <laughs> all that stuff? I mean, as far as outdoor stuff, is that pretty well it, uh, fishing and uh a little bit of hunting and <clears throat> um, like I said, gardening. Um, <coughs> we've got our dogs. We take our take our dogs out quite a bit. I've got that's Bailey. She's my she's my woods buddy because she'll stick pretty close. The uh, the other dogs you got to watch them. They'll the the one she's half red bone coon hound, so she'll get her nose to the ground and you know she'll take off. Yeah, I got my black lab here behind me. He's he's my buddy. I had to bury my dog here uh, about a week and a half or so ago. I took that kind of hard. I had to, yeah. You know, I I don't believe in taking him to the vet and having him put down. I just put him down just uh, the way you would on a farm. And I, I I took it pretty hard when I had to put him down like that. But he was. He was starting to bleed and everything internally, and and everything. Hell, he was almost seventeen years old. So, well, you know, I mean, they're. I don't know about you, but I mean, they're they're, they're every bit all them all them years. It wouldn't have been as bad. Yeah, they're they're every bit as much a kid as your two legged is. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'd we've hurt got over my dogs. Oh yeah, exactly. They're they're we've got. We've got Bailey there, who's full boxer. Then we've got um, here a couple years ago. She got uh, bred through the fence while she was in her kennel by a Harlequin Great Dane, and we ended up keeping one of those pups. And that's my dog, which he's a big hundred pound baby, solid white named Dozer. Uh, then we just rescued that uh, that Red Bone. She's half boxer, half uh, Red Bone. She was fixed as people was fixing to take her to the shelter. So we, if I ever hit that lottery, I'll have I'll have the the biggest snow killed shelter in the state of Illinois. I, I know that's right. I guarantee you I'd save every one of them a good. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. We on a daily basis we see dogs that need to be rescued and the wife's like, Oh, and I'm like, I know, hon, but we just don't have the hire a, a full time vet to fix them as they come in and Fix other people's dogs for nothing just to keep the population down. You don't need to. Yep. You know, you, you get people so much, let them breed, let them have puppies, and, and then they dump the pups. Yeah. And yeah. That just pisses me off to no end. Yep. Um, anyway, I appreciate you yakking with me there, Jim. Looks like we got, oh, how many minutes we got here? I think he's focusing on me. I can't tell. But uh, anyway, I'll probably have this posted in a day or two, and you'll uh, be able to see it on the page. The uh, teampatboys.com page is, is uh, uh, smartphone-friendly, and uh, I do the uh, Catfish Weekly page, and uh, that one there is also uh, smartphone-friendly now if you... Okay going to the URLs, but I do appreciate you acting with me and keep us, keep us informed on uh, the mushrooms and all that, and if you need uh, need help with that WordPress getting everything logged in and working right, just let me know. I will do that, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you, and and uh, I'll definitely get on there and start uh, putting in some fishing reports and some mushroom reports and Absolutely. just about anything, anything else I can think of. All right, well, appreciate Jim, and you take care. And just remember, guys, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living. Amen to that. Take care.